It is a milestone many didn't want to see reached. According to John Hopkins University, the worldwide death toll from the coronavirus has now eclipsed one million people. That's less than a year into a pandemic that has disrupted the economy and many daily activities. Now, as cases continue worldwide, schools are trying their best to keep kids in the classroom. Tonight, we are getting a better picture of how COVID-19 has impacted students and staff in the Sioux Falls School District. Cumberland's Dan Santella was at tonight's school board meeting for an update. Sioux Falls School District Superintendent Jane Stavum says at the moment, less than 1% of both students and staff have tested positive for COVID-19. Stavum says it's 0.11% for students and 0.37% for staff. Stavum also shared information on quarantines and hospitalizations. As of right now, about 5.2% of our students are out on quarantine and about 1.47% of our staff are out on quarantine. Since the beginning of the school year, we don't have any hospitalizations that we're aware of. One issue right now is time lost. We are concerned about lost classroom time. And we have also heard from parents and teachers about the issues of repeated quarantines for people who are asymptomatic and are missing instruction. The superintendent says mask use is near universal. Would you see 100% of people in masks? No, but would you see very, very close to it? Absolutely. We expected them to wear masks and they stepped up and they have done that very, very well. The policy right now for both students and staff is to quarantine for 14 days if there is close contact with someone who can spread COVID-19. But there could be change on the horizon when it comes to quarantining. I would love to see if we could, um, as a district, uh, look at um, drafting some revised language on the quarantine of um, for students and staff um, on that and um, basically have a vote on that is um, probably Wednesday. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. The district has a section of its website dedicated to COVID-19. We're including a link to it in this report on Kelloland.com.